CGIAR Research Program on Rice Africa Rice Agricultural Economist, Mandia Edian, Africa Rice Lead, Flagship Project 1, Accelerating Impact and Equity. What is the importance of the Flagship 1 for Africa? Uh, for the Flagship 1, I think it's uh, really suitable. It, it, it sits well to the context of uh, Africa because it addresses more, uh, a lot of issue that uh, the rice sector is facing in, in Africa. Uh, the flagship is articulated around six cluster of activities. The one is uh, foresight and targeting. If, within this uh, cluster, we just uh, try to analyze, the, to think about the, the future, what will happen uh, in the future in the rice sector and how we have to deal with, with this. And to, as well to, for better targeting because we have to to inform decision makers and as well to inform the other uh, research uh, uh, cluster of activity uh, flagships about the need from from the ground from farmers from the whole rice from value chain actors. So for better targeting, we need uh, this uh, cluster of activities. The other cluster of activities is uh, on gender, gender and use for inclusive development. As you know, gender is gender is very important in the rice sector because they are uh, they are part of uh, the they uh, they are occupying a very huge part part in the rice uh, development sector because uh, usually in developing countries, the at least uh, around 75 percent come from 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 women from, in terms of production. So it's very important for developing countries. And from for this uh, class of activities, we, we see how we can empower women and how we can increase. Uh, how can we, uh, first we need to understand the opportunity and concerns that the women and youth are facing, and to how to develop a business model that suits so, to women and youth for for better development and better integration in the rice value sector. The, the third one is uh, on innovation and upscaling. You know, innovation is very important. Uh, we have, uh, as you may know, we have uh, research development, research on rice has developed many technologies and this tech need be to be at the beneficiary level. So we need, uh, uh, need the first innovation and for this innovation to be appropriate by, by the beneficiary, they need uh, to be uh, round up in terms of in, uh, in groups in, uh, by the, through uh, maybe uh, uh, mainly uh, innovation platforms to let them discuss, to understand their, uh, uh, to understand their own consent and to, to, to define how they have to deal with it, with this. And if this, uh, the technology that are introduced in this platform are appropriated by the beneficiary. Now we have to upscale it for uh, to to reach more more beneficiary in this. Cause this is the, so. This is mainly what uh, this culture of activities on innovation and upscaling will deal with. And we have another one on seed delivery. You know, the main problem in Africa is is, is seed. Because uh, at least uh, nine percent that uh, is of seed uh, sold in Africa come from uh, informal sector. So we need f to for better um, for quality seed to really organize the, the seed system. How we can <coughs> produce high quality seeds and use it as well. And for this, we need a uh, lot of. Uh, Training, capacity development, capacity building, and as well a uh, well functioning of the distribution at the delivery level. So this is very important as well because, as you know, seed is a first uh, material for rice for production. And the other one is uh, on the the I think the fifth one is the in impact impact assessment and impact assessment. And you know, if we have to, f to give feedback to uh, to the the, uh, the other research uh, researchers and as well to give feedback to policy makers, we have to really see the what, what where are the impact of 
the, our research because uh, our, our this flagship is mainly for accelerating impact and equity. So impact is very important because we, you cannot know where you, you will go if you don't have really the impact of what you have developed and what you have delivered to, to, the, to the general audience. So uh, this is very important. We will conduct many um, uh, impact studies and to just to, to have what, what are really the impact of the and, and the last uh, class of the activity is on monitoring and foliation because as you know we we need to, we are accountable to our donors and as well our, our, ourselves so we have to have a better tracking of the to, and to, to measure uh, what we have really achieved and for that we need a very a very efficient monitoring and evaluation system as well for learning because we learn from our our what we what we achieved yeah, so it's very important these are basically the six class of activities that are that cover this uh, flagship project and as I, as I said in the beginning at the beginning it was it's very important for Africa because we are all facing all this, uh, this we need all this, uh, this uh, to deal with all this uh, issue for site analysis uh, seed women integration youth integration and impact as well to see what uh, the impact for to better target uh, investment in the future what are its priorities and target countries the activities depend on on the but the budget if uh, the time uh, the resources we have to implement all these activities that's why as the budget is not uh, that uh, big we selected men African countries where uh, there are very pot uh, uh, very high potential for rice development, like Nigeria, Tanzania, and, in, and Senegal, where the rice sector is very important. If you take the case of Nigeria, is the first rice importer in the, in the region. Senegal is the third one, and policy are policy makers are very interested to to develop their rice uh, rice uh, sector to really uh, rich self-sufficiency so that's why we for this uh, level of budget we just uh, focus on these three countries for more information visit www.africarice.org